maybe this has happened to you before uh, you are looking at the website and you're scrolling down the page to look at the information and the photos but then the photos catch your attention and you see these photos that are cropped into a cycle they look so beautiful and you wonder wow how can i make this uh, well today is your day today you're going to learn how to create these photos uh, these cropped uh, in cycle photos for yourself and the tool that we're going to be using is canva canva is the tool that i'm going to show you how to use it to create those cropped into cycle photos to make your website or your blog looks so beautiful or even your social media page alrighty if you are ready let's get into it but before we do that I'll ask you to subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a video I post two videos a week one video for personal development and education and the other video is usually about nutrition my name is Steve from steveagency.com let's get into this screen capture and I'll show you how you can create those beautiful photos for yourself Okay guys, uh, here we are. Oh, obviously the first thing that you need to do is to sign up uh, a free account so that you can be able to do this. Uh, Canva has got two accounts, a free uh, account and uh, Canva Pro for business. Uh, so you just need uh, the free, it's fine for this uh, tutorial. So I'll log in with my uh, uh, free account. Uh, you can log in with Google or Facebook or as you can see or Apple. So I'm gonna use my free account via Google uh, to get in and then I'll be on the homepage of canva.com and there we are uh, this is the homepage for canva.com as you can see I've signed in there and I'm gonna create from there and then there's a, a toolbar up there with all the drop down menus and on the left side there's very good stuff going on there so what we are going to do for this project I'm just gonna go to create a design and then just put in a custom design so we can start from the beginning. Uh, so I'm going to put a thousand uh, by a thousand um, and then make sure you select that uh, PX which is pixel and it's a common and easy one uh, to use. Uh, then I'll click on create new design and um, the canvas will come up or open up as you can see. Uh, so this way we're going to be working on. I'll just create a second page there so I can show you something else later. All right, then on your left side, you see there's a bar there with uploads and photos and elements, text as well there, and all other extras there. And there are even more when you're using Canva Pro. So for this project, um, we are going to uh, just go to elements because we want to create a, um, a cropped uh, photo in a cycle. So that's what we want to do. And uh, we do that straight away. The first thing to do is to go to elements so we can get that circle that we are going to use to um, to crop uh, our photo in. So you come down here and then we go to frames and just click all so you can see all different options you've got there. So what we need to select is the um, is the uh, the cycle that is uh, like it's plain cycle it doesn't have any uh, lines or anything or any designs uh, at all uh, so if you scroll down you see the different types of cycles then we've got the ones that they've got a line outside and then one inside but we just need the plain one which is up here i think there we go so you can either click on it to go straight onto the canvas or you can drag uh, on it, uh, over uh, to the canvas so the great thing about canva is that it's a uh, uh, click or drag and drop you just uh, click and it will come here I'll delete it so you can see the other way you can just drag it and then drop it there so it's the same thing whichever is easier and quicker for you you can do that and as you can see I'm trying to uh, center this and uh, you'll find that Canva is going to help you with the, the purple lines to show you where the center is as you can see here we are right in the middle alrighty we are on it so what I'll do I'll just uh, increase the size i'll just pull the size so i can increase the size of the frame uh, let's do that again so we can get uh, closer to the edges um, and that's it that's the first step we've done so now when you see this with canva when you see this uh, cloud and blue sky and a bit of uh, what water or mountains or hills whatever that is uh, it's telling you that uh, this is um, uh, a place where it's a placeholder you can put a photo there and then the photo that you put in is going to take the shape of that uh, uh, placeholder if for example I maybe take a um, that, uh, computer there and we put the photo in there the photo is gonna take uh, the um, shape of this computer uh, that's how uh, this shape holders work it's really great alrighty uh, let's go now and look for a photo for photos you can either upload your own photo 
or you can uh, get photos from Canva. Canva, they've got their free photos as well. You can use them uh, for free because you're on a free account. Uh, you'll see that as I'm hovering here, you see it says free, so that photo is free. But if I come here, there's a pro sign there or pro logo. It's telling you that this uh, photo, it's, uh, you have to pay, I think, a dollar for it. To be able to use it um, but otherwise we're going to use our own photo anyway you want to upload and then i will um i'll take that one photo there and you can click on it or or just uh, drag it as before and then it will come up here and then you come on it and as i was saying canva is a drag and drop if you click on the photo and then move it a little bit it just get in gets inside the placeholder there you go as you can see is inside then if you want to maybe position properly uh, that photo what you can do you click on it and then up here on the left it says crop um, then you can go to the edges and then bring it a little bit closer uh, to where you want or you can then move it again in the middle make sure it's in the middle and there you go if you're happy with that uh, that is good that's done you you're done um, what I'll do, I'll delete uh, this um, page I've made uh, earlier and then I'll, I'll duplicate this one that I've just uh, made. So you see, because I want to show you something after this. So we've done with our project. This is uh, the cycle that we want with the photo is very nice. Uh, but what we want now is to make sure that you can put this on your blog or on your website or you can even just put it as a post in your social media uh, platforms so you need to save it you need to download it and save it uh, so that you can uh, then use that uh, but because this is a free uh, canva um, you when you save it i'll show you when you save it it comes as a with a white background so you can't take that background so if your website background is uh, or your blog website uh, background is white it's fine you'll be really good but if your colors um in your website are different than not white, uh, then you're gonna have to save this uh, as a transparent background. So that's what I will show you. I'll give you another uh, place to go so you can do that. But for Canva, uh, for free, you can do this. But with the Pro version as well of Canva, you can do this straight here. Um, if I come here to download, I'll just select this one first. Um, yeah. I'll come here. If you look at here, it will suggest you to print as PNG, which is good because you want to have a transparent background laser. Just save it as a, a PNG. But then if you've got a Canva Pro, you can do as a um, transparent background there, or you can even compress it if you, if you want to compress it. But we, we don't need that. Uh, and for transparent background, which we need if you want to put it on top of something, uh, then I will show you how you can do that. But uh, before you get to that one, I will just uh, save uh, this one as it is. I'll select page one because I've got page two pages there. I'll select one and then done, and then I will download. And then it will download and then I will show you where it is. Now here it is. Um, there you go. Um, yep, there you go. So this is the one. Um, as you can see, it's got all the white background. Uh, so you, uh, if you want to put it on a website that has got a white background uh, pages, then this is good. You can use this and uh, wherever you want as well. But if you've got um, uh, a different color than white uh, on your website or, or a blog, then you need this uh, in a transparent background. So uh, I will show you how to do that quickly. Uh, you have to go to a website called um, removebackground.com. Uh, this is the, um, the website that you need to go to. So um, you just go to um, remove background and then um, I'll take this one out. So we can do it again. Um, yes, so you remove background uh, .com, oh, .bg, and then it will uh, come up. Uh, so this is the page that comes up, the home page. Then you just go to uh, upload image. So we'll pick up that image uh, that we've just downloaded, the one with the white uh, background, your handle. And then we just uh, uh, open it. And then within a few seconds, it will open that and the background will be removed. So that's the other way of uh, removing the background for free uh, so that you can put this photo as you can see it's got checked um, 
background. Um, usually it just comes, uh, I see this a little bit uh, left, I don't know why. Uh, but uh, as you saw the one before, um, I just removed one just before I did this one. As you can see, it's all has come out completely. So it does come out uh, completely. Uh, then you put this photo onto uh, the maybe the purple or the blue background uh, pages where you know you want to put it or use it in a in an ad facebook ad or something like that uh, so that will take out the white background so that it can uh, be uh, visible easily so that's how you do it and as i said the website that you need to go to is remove background.bg uh, that's how you do it guys and then uh, i will quickly uh, go back to uh, um, there we go and show you what i was talking about um, uh, the reason why I wanted to uh, uh, to uh, create a second page was so that uh, I can show you uh, what you can do as well if you've got a um, like where you put the codes or your Facebook, um, your Instagram or your Facebook or wherever, even your website where you've got a section where you put the, the codes, you can put the codes with this photo that you've made, uh, that you've cropped into a circle. So what you can do after you make that photo there, uh, and you can um, and maybe uh, leave it as a transparent background or as a white, it doesn't matter because it's a post. Uh, um, it, on Instagram especially, it doesn't matter, or Facebook. Um, the only thing that matters with the transparent background is when you put it on a different color than white. So that's the only difference. But otherwise, you can use it the same way. So you can just um, reduce the size of this one and then uh, put your handle there or your website if you don't have a... I'm sure everyone's got Instagram these days. Uh, pretty much uh, most people <laughs> can put your Instagram handle there or your website. Um, or your um, Twitter account there as well, then you can uh, create a post uh, there. Just go to press T and then it, it brings the text uh, holder. Then um, uh, just type something uh, that you, you, you want, like a code that you want to you want to use and then once uh, you've uh, got the uh, code in there or whatever that you are talking about on your page I just put it in there um, you I'll just put something you can be uh, anything you want I'm just putting something then uh, just to show you guys then you can increase the font size uh, I'll just go a bigger just to make it a bigger size and then make it uh, um, in the middle, you can just put it in the middle as well. You just, uh, uh, as you can see, the purple line comes, it's showing that it's in the middle. Then, if you come uh, here, you can change the font uh, as well. Um, whatever font you write, there are so many free font, uh, as you can see, they're all free uh, there. And that's it. Or you can make this as a code as well. You can come here to elements and then select, uh, you go to codes, or instead of the frames there, you go to, you put codes and then search the codes, uh, signs, and then one uh, that I'll take is that one. And then as you can see, um, it's purple or it's blue. <laughs> I don't know what color is that. <laughs> and then you can make it blue. And then this, you can make it bold as well if you like, whatever you want, just to make it look more professional really and more interesting. Um, there you go, you can put it down a little bit and then bring the code. Uh, there you go, and there you go. Then you save this uh, as it is, and then you put it on your uh, code for the day or something, whatever you can. So you can play around with that uh, uh, crop to cycle photos just to create things that look good on your page or whatever that you are using it for. There you go, it looks nice. Oh, good guys, I uh, hope you've uh, learned something from this. Uh, if you have, uh, just give me the thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a video. Uh, and um, I hope you um, have enjoyed this and I'll talk to you soon. There you go guys, that's how you create those amazing photos uh, for yourself using Canva. So I hope you guys have learned something from this and if you've got any comments or any questions at all, don't forget to leave comments below and uh, I'll get back to you. Otherwise guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell so that I can notify you or get notified every time I post a video. Again guys, I post two videos a week, one video for personal development and education and the other video is usually about nutrition. Okay guys, thanks for tuning in and I uh, hope to see you in the next one. See you guys, bye. Thank you.